In this video, we're going to be using K Shave Works The Elf Den and the Above the Tie SSRH2 Windsor. Stay tuned. Hey there folks and welcome back for another video. I'm your host CDB and thanks so much for joining me today. I really appreciate it. As always, before we get into the content, a word from our sponsor, Leaf. This video is brought to you by our good friends at Leaf and you know I love Leaf products. I love using the Leaf, which you've seen me use many, many times on the channel. I also love using the Twig. You've seen that a lot on the channel as well. If you'd like to save 5%, Use discount code IMCDB right there and save 5% while shopping with the good folks at Leaf. And now, back to the video. And all right, we are back and we are looking forward to this shave today. We're using K Shave Works The Elf Den. And I've had this one for about a year. I didn't see it go on sale this year, so I'm not sure it came out. Uh, the scent on this is Pine Plum Cranberry uh, Balsam. Uh, and it is a tallow base soap. I'm not going to give you the price and all that because I don't remember to be honest and I don't think it's available this year. Uh, it is definitely a Christmassy type scent. Smells great. Good scent strength. Uh, there is a shot of the lather. I did get it reasonably creamy. No problems with that. The star of the show, however, today will be the Above the Tie SSRH. And this is with an open comb. So they usually put a two when it's an open comb, SSRH2. And this is a new plate that I'm using in the Windsor line. And it looks really, really nice. And I checked those teeth on the open comb. They are not sharp to the touch whatsoever. Above the tie really makes some fine razors. They sent this plate uh, along for me to try. So we're gonna do just that today. The blade is the Gillette Nasset, brand new. Nasset blade and you know we have to do it. We always do the atlas slide when we have this one. Turn the razor upside down and I'm just sort of letting it fall and because of the knurling that razor twists and I just love doing that and this is looking good so I'm, I'm looking forward to using this today. They also have going on sale. I'm not sure when. The They're calling this the Calypso Special Edition handle and this one is like an atlas in that it has that uh, barber pole knurling which you see right here but it is quite long. It is four inches long. So if you look at those two, if I get my sausage fingers out of the way, you look at those two together, long handles. So for those of you who like long handles, the Calypso special edition or limited edition, I think they're calling it handle, will be available soon. I prefer short handles, but I know people like Sig, uh, Sig Solo likes long handles, uh, Glenn Helly likes long handles. So this sort of handle might be great for you guys, although this Will always be my preference so we'll set that to the side and let's get lathered up and let's get going don't forget if you would like to make an order from above the tie and save some money use discount code imcdb and save 10 percent on your order and also don't forget above the tie is one of those companies that they've kept their prices pretty reasonable they've always been a premium razor company but they're not at that 280 dollars level where a stainless steel razor or over 200 dollars and i really like that because Prices on some of these razors are getting out of hand. <laughs> uh, and we discussed that last night a little bit on Real Talk, our best of the best of 2021, the Shaving Awards show. If you hadn't seen if you hadn't seen that yet, it's here on YouTube, and I will pop it up in one of the corners. But I hope you'll stick around and watch this one first. I really like that above the tie is pretty close to their original uh, pricing on razors. I like that a lot. You're still around that 185 ish level it is a premium price but but compared to other uh, razors today um, it's it's quite reasonable um, I think carve does a really good job their prices are even better for stainless steel you're you know what maybe 150 some 160 dollars but above the tie is quite reasonable today if you look at some of the other premium razors that are coming out that are almost 300 dollars and sometimes more than that so keep that in mind they've been around what now 10 years been doing it well for a long time and nice people over that Matt and Mariah at above the top of course Stan retired we love Stan but Mariah and Matt are nice folks too that's uh Mariah is Stan's daughter and Matt is his son-in-law and they really are a family company so check out above the tie if you please and uh, make sure to use that IMCDB discount code so you save yourself some money if you do all right Let's set that aside. The brush for today, I forgot to mention, is the uh, Nathan Clark Envy Shave 8 Ball, which you see right there. Well, if I, again, today I'm putting my sausage fingers up in front of everything. 
and that's no fun at all. All right, let's, uh, or at least no fun for you if you want to see actually what I'm using. Cut that back just a little bit. I hope you're all having a great Sunday so far. We're moving close to Christmas. We're about, what, about under a week now, so that should be fun. I hope you've got most of your Christmas shopping done. If you do it, I know not everyone does. Or if, if you haven't um, finished, hope you get finished soon and you're ready to spend some time with friends and family, um, whether it be in person or virtually or what have you, and that is nice. Very nice. The H plate is definitely efficient. Uh, and the open comb, the thing that I always check with open comb razors is are the teeth sort of sharp to the touch? And this isn't. So if I put it to my face there and just tap it, not sharp. And so I like that. I like rounded teeth. And these are smooth and nice. So I don't feel a, anything uncomfortable on the teeth. I do want to mention something because this does come up from, from time to time. Some new folks think uh, open comb razors are by, by default more aggressive than uh, razors without open combs, and that is not true. It's all, it's all based on the design of the razor. The geometry of the razor, the blade gap, the blade exposure all factor in. And while this open comb razor is quite efficient, it is the H plate, quite efficient, uh, and for me, still smooth. Um, you can get open comb razors that are very, very mild. One of the advantages of an open comb razor is said to be, let's say you got four or five days of growth, which I never have because I shave every day, but if you do, because of that open comb, it can sort of get at those whiskers a little more by virtue of the open comb. So those whiskers can sort of get in between the teeth there a little easier and, and it finds the blade a little easier, some say. And so that might be an advantage. And also they look cool. So there's another one. So this today is very nice. And I think Mariah told me this is new because they haven't had OC in the Windsor line of razors before. And so that first pass, very smooth and nice. The NASA blade always giving me a really, really great result. I love NASA blade. I find Nasset blades to be nice and sharp, but also smooth, and they work very, very well for me. So that was an excellent first pass. And the Elf Den from K-Shave Works, smelling really nice today as well. Getting a nice Christmas vibe in here, and I'm definitely in the mood, and uh, I'm definitely in the Christmas spirit. We gave away a couple of uh, gift cards last night on Real Talk. Just me, uh, no sponsored giveaways. Just picked a few people and gave them out, and you know, it's just fun to give. And so we try to, when we can, we try to do giveaways on the channel, just try to give back as much as we reasonably can and to you know, just have fun. That's really the key. Are you having fun in the hobby? Um, or are you arguing with people day and night and debating and, you know, debating is okay, but make sure you're having fun, you know. If you're spending all your time arguing over what's the best and, you know, that's not, at a certain point, that's not fun. Just, just enjoy it. Enjoy the gear, enjoy your shaves. This is the most, most important part for me right here when I'm doing these shaves, enjoying this. And then of course the subsequent interaction with you folks who comment, it's fantastic as well. I really enjoy that part of it. Okay, that's good enough. I don't need to lather all day. <laughs> I could, but I don't want to because I know you all have things to do and I do as well, so. We won't spend all day lathering. I have to say this uh, soap has gotten pretty firm, so I have a lot of it left over in the bowl there, which is great for me when soaps get more firm. I don't have to use as much, typically. That's very nice. Very smooth, very good ride so far with the above the tie. This is the SSRH, and I put the two on the end because normally they, um, they call it a two, two indicating open comb or I believe that's the way they used to do it. And Mariah and Matt, if I'm wrong, please let me know below. <laughs> they are very down to earth people. We had them on Real Talk, oh, I don't know, maybe a year ago or maybe a little under a year. Very down to earth people, you know, like your next door neighbor. Um, and very nice, very nice folks. Unassuming people from Tennessee, I believe, if I'm not mistaken. Just nice folks. And I thank them for sending this along. So 
to answer the question based on my use so far. And this is the question that I always like to ask when I'm using an evaluation product. Would I buy this plate with my own money? Yes. Uh, for me, it's nice and smooth. It gives you a little different feel uh, via the open comb. It's nice and smooth. There's nothing rough about it, at least for me. And so for me, yes, this would be a winner, this plate. Uh, now, the handle, the uh, Calypso uh, limited edition four inch handle, would I buy that one? No because that one is just too long for my taste. I don't care for long handles, but functionally it's gonna be great. You know, I like the Atlas design. So the Calypso is basically an Atlas design in a four inch handle. And some people like those really long handles. And you, maybe if you're a lady and you're shaving your legs or whatever, it might actually come in handy, the length of the handle. But I always like a handle around the three inch, three to three and a half inches is usually right where I like it. Three and a half is usually the max for me. So the handle would be a little long for my preference, but that is just a preference thing. It doesn't really affect the shave that much. I could definitely use that four inch handle and it would be no problem whatsoever, but I really like the maneuverability and just the way a razor like this feels. It feels very nimble for me when it has a little bit of a shorter handle. And so just a preference thing. Very nice, very efficient, this, this uh, plate. Now keep in mind that above the tie, they don't only have the H plate. They have the M, which is kind of mild. They have the R, which is in the middle, and they have the H, or at least traditionally, that's what they've had. I'm gonna do another cross the grain pass just quickly. So we'll lather it pretty quickly. This lather today isn't quite as creamy um, as some of the other maybe soaps I use, but it's more than adequate. Even if you don't have a picturesque lather, folks, um, as long as you have some hydration in it, it's gonna be slick. This one could use just a little bit more hydration, I think, but it's got a great scent. It's put me in the mood for Christmas. It's just wonderful. Even though it's not quite as creamy, um, it's still gonna be more than adequate. I think a lot of times we make too much of, you know, the soaps and what, what our real needs are versus our wants. Don't confuse wants and needs as it applies to shaving soap, you might not need all the extra fancy stuff, or maybe your skin really um, responds well to some of the swanky ingredients, what I call the 12 butters, you know, chupacabra oil, super blue emu, dragon tallow, unicorn milk. Maybe your skin responds great to that and that's just what you like. If it is, that is entirely okay. You have, you and I don't have any problem whatsoever. Just do what works best. But for me, even though today this lather isn't quite as creamy as my normal lathers are made with other products that are just, you know, have, a, have those ingredients that lend itself to super dense and creamy lathers, it's still going great. It's still slick. It's still providing the platform for the razor to glide, which is really what I'm looking for in a shaving soap. I'm not looking for it to roll back the, the time and make me look, you know, 30 when I'm in my 50s. That's not part of my use case. It's not a reasonable thing, I don't believe. All I want is for it to provide for a smooth platform for this razor to glide on, and it is doing that just fine. And it's quite an enjoyable shave today as well, I must admit, just really nice, fun. Let me ask you folks, what did you use today? Um, please let me know below. And have you ever used an above the tie razor? Uh, especially some of you old timers that have been around for 10 years. Um, above the tie was one of the first razors, first premium razor. It was the first premium razor that I had my eyes on. I was like, ooh, above the tie, you know, I, I want that. Uh, I think the, the first one I ever got, I believe was a, it was an above the tie Kronos R1. And at the time I actually favored longer handles. So the Kronos handles a little bit long, not as long as the Calypso, but longer. And that was the first above the tie. And after that, I've had a ton since. <laughs> and I still own two or three today. Um, maybe four, I, I'm not sure. <laughs> so I have been using these razors for quite a number of years and they've never let me down. They are well built, though they're made in the United States. Stainless steel, of course. Um, it is a premium razor, you expect that. You know, it's gonna be good materials and um, 
it comes from really fine people. So I always enjoy using above the tie and I always have. And it was really one of the first premium razors that I had my eye on. I think Feather AS ASD2 above the tie. Um, there was another in Tadari, you know. Those were all premium razors that I had my eye on. Now the Feather ASD2 ended up disappointing. I didn't really like that razor. I liked it at first, but over time I fell out of love with it. But above the tie, still love these razors and they're still making great stuff even today. All right. Let me rinse and then we'll come back and get into the post. Stay tuned. And all right, we are back and off came. We did a rinse to get rid of the soap. And then we used our Razor Rock alum. There was no stinging there, so super smooth shave. No nicks, guts, creepers, weepers, irritation, bubbles, or troubles. Following the alum, we did another rinse. And then we toweled off with our Lancaster towel. Prior to using the magic made by witches, this is Thayer's Witch Hazel Cucumber with aloe. Excellent shave today with K Shave Works. The Elf Den. I don't think this was available this year, but it's a nice Christmassy scent and I had a great shave with it. I really enjoyed it. I also had a really good run or first run with the Above the Tie SSRH2. This is a brand new open comb plate in the Windsor line and I'm using the Atlas handle, which is three inches. The uh, H plate, very efficient, very smooth. The teeth on this are not sharp to the touch or anything like that, so they're not comfortable. Just a very nice razor. Above the time, has been doing it for a long time. They're still doing it well, and they're still doing it at a reasonable price um, for a premium razor. And don't forget, use discount code IMCDB to get 10% off your order, should you order from Above the Tie. And don't forget, they have also released their new Calypso. This is the Calypso Limited Edition handle, which looks a lot like the Atlas only, as you can see there. It is four inches long. So folks with big hands who really want a lot of handle, you might want to check that one out when it becomes available. Uh, we used our Envy Shave 8 Ball Brush and it's in our Lancaster Razor Works Brush Soaking Mug or HCNC Bowl. And we're going to finish things out today with Sterling Mountain Man once again. We're working towards the bottom of that bottle, but I tell you, I keep using this day after day after day and it's almost like it refills itself. <laughs> so we're going to use a, a good helping Today, we're gonna to be smelling great, and I hope wherever you are, you have a terrific Sunday. You're surrounded by loved ones, or you just have a great day, great day, excuse me, no matter what you're doing. Oh, that smells nice. Really, really nice. I can't speak. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Till next time, I've been your host, CDB, reminding you, it's your shave, do it your way, and as always, God bless.